Are you tired of not getting the traffic you need for your website or struggling to reach the right audience for your brand? Well, have you heard of Google Ads? It's an advertising platform that allows businesses and individuals to display ads on Google and its partner websites, reaching a huge audience of potential customers. Whether you're running a small business or trying to grow your personal brand, Google Ads can be a valuable tool for driving traffic to your website. With a little bit of effort and some strategic planning, you can create ads that resonate with your target audience and help you achieve your goals. Let's take a closer look. What is Google Ads? Google Ads is a paid advertising platform that companies can use to promote their products or services. You may also know it by its previous name, Google AdWords. This advertising solution is part of SEM, or Search Engine Marketing, which is a set of paid actions that businesses can perform to promote themselves on search engines. It works on a model called Pay Per Click, or PPC, where the advertiser pays for each click on their ad. What can you achieve with Google Ads? There are many reasons why incorporating SEM techniques into your marketing strategy can be beneficial. Here are some of the ways that Google Ads can help your business. Get highly qualified traffic to your site. Attracting the right users to your landing pages is a fundamental aspect of any digital marketing strategy. Search engine marketing is particularly effective in capturing users' attention, generating clicks, and filtering users according to the search terms they enter. This ensures that the traffic you receive is made up of people who are likely interested in your brand. Boost your brand recognition worldwide. Ranking high on Google can help increase your brand visibility. Even if users don't click on your site the first time they see it, having your page rank at the top of the search results can help them associate your brand with the solution they're searching for. Drive conversions. Google Ads offers a range of features to measure conversions making it easier to track the effectiveness of your ads. Maximize your budget. Search engine advertising solutions offer great potential reach combined with the ability to adjust your budget to your needs at any given time. You don't need a large upfront investment, which makes it a great option for small and medium-sized businesses. And as your brand grows, so do the possibilities. With solutions like Google Ads, you are not only placing ads on the search engine itself, but also taking advantage of the data and parameters you have to place contextual ads on other websites. The possibilities for personalization are endless. You can target people who have already visited your website, who are interested in a certain type of products, from a specific city, and more. Combined with your search engine advertising campaigns, Google Ads can be a powerful tool to grow your brand. Types of targeting. If you wanna start advertising through Google Ads and you go to ads.google.com, the first thing the platform will ask you is to choose the objective of your campaign. Why do you want to advertise? And what return do you expect to get? This question is crucial, not only so that Google can optimize your campaign, but also because it will influence the next decision that you will have to make, the format. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's first take a look at the different objectives of Google Ads. Sales. Drive sales online, in app, by phone, or in store. Leads. Encourage customers to take actions to generate leads and other conversions. Website traffic. Get the right people to visit your website. Brand and product awareness. Encourage users to discover your products or services. Coverage and brand awareness. Reach a large number of people and increase brand awareness. App promotion. Increase downloads, engagement, and the number of pre-registered users on your app. Store visits and local promotions. Drive visits to local stores, including restaurants and dealerships. Types of campaigns. Depending on the type of targeting you choose, Google will recommend a certain type of campaign. Still, it is important to know them all so that you know the reasoning behind this recommendation and are clear about where and how your ads will appear. There are several basic types of ads, or campaigns, in Google Ads. We have search, display, video, apps, shopping, and top performance campaigns. Search campaigns usually appear in text format and are displayed on Google Ads search results pages when users search for a product or service. Display campaigns are usually in image format and are shown on websites or applications visited by your users. As for video campaigns, they usually consist of video pieces that are shown just before or during content offered by YouTube. App campaigns allow you to optimize your ads to drive downloads of your app. 
These ads can appear in locations such as Search, YouTube, Google Play, Discover, and third-party apps and websites. Shopping campaigns are great if you have an e-commerce store, as they allow you to promote your product catalog. These ads appear in search results and in the Google Shopping tab. Finally, we have the Performance Max campaigns, which are based on objectives. These campaigns allow you to access the entire Google Ads inventory from a single campaign. They combine Google's automation technologies in all aspects of the campaigns, such as bidding, budget optimization, audiences, and creatives. For campaigns to work properly, another key element is conversion tracking. For example, let's say you choose the leads objective and you want to know how many people have ended up registering on a form on your landing page. To do this, Create conversions and implement a code on your web page to be able to measure the conversion action. It is very important that you know how the performance of your campaign will be measured and that you make sure that everything is configured and working well before investing money in your campaign. In addition, all the information you can give Google about your potential customers will allow them to better optimize the campaigns. At this point, we have to talk about segmentation and audience which gives you information about the age, gender, and interests of your target audience. Google Ads audiences can be configured as observation or segmentation. If you configure them as observations, you're indicating to Google that these audiences are important to you. But you're not just focusing exclusively on them, just giving extra information to Google. This type of configuration is mainly used in search. On another hand, when you set them as segmentation, you're asking Google to show the ad only to those segments and not to all users. This configuration is usually used in display, discovery, and YouTube campaigns. Finally, let's review another very common concept in SEM, keywords. Google defines them as words or phrases that are used to match your ads with the terms people are searching for. For example, if you are running a search campaign, you need to define the keywords that will make your ad appear in the search results. If you are a hotel chain in France and have a hotel in the capital, you can add hotel in Paris as a keyword. When a customer performs a search on Google that matches a keyword you have added, the ad goes to auction to determine if it will be displayed. Depending on factors such as the number of advertisers competing for that keyword, the cost will be higher or lower. It is very important, therefore, that the keywords you choose have a high relationship with your ad, your business, and your website. You should also keep in mind that there are several types of keyword matches. Broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Let's see some examples of each. Imagine we use low carb diet as a keyword. With broad matches, ads can appear in related searches even if they do not contain the terms we have put. For example, low calorie recipes or books on Mediterranean diets. If we go with phrase matching, which we mark by putting the keywords in quotation marks, we limit ourselves to searches that include the meaning of the selected keywords. In this case, if our keyword is tennis shoes, ads may appear on searches such as tennis shoes or comfortable tennis shoes. Finally, there would be an exact match where ads can be shown on searches that have the same meaning or intent as the keyword. In this case, we would put the keyword between squared brackets to denote this type of matching. For example, if we put men's shoes, ads may appear on searches such as men's shoes, men's shoe, or shoes for a man, but not shoes for boys or men's tennis shoes. Remember that we can also use negative keywords to prevent ads from showing for certain searches. If you have any questions about Google Ads, leave us a comment and we will try to address it in one of our next videos. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest digital marketing news, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.